guys welcome to another video today's video we're talking about putting up tree stands and and part of this video I want to talk about uh, tree stand safety and so as you see we'll go through this video I'll show you the different tree stands we put up throughout the day and then at the end we'll go back through and I'll talk a little bit about tree stand safety and why it's going to be so important every time you get out up into a tree stand you got one of these on and you use one of these it's extremely important and I'm gonna give you a story at the end to tell you exactly why I think it's so so out here on the in my property I'm on the edge of the woods on the edge of my property line and I've got this tree right here back behind me that we're gonna put this tree stand in. I'm I've got a hawk one and a half man tree stand that I'm gonna set up today this will be one of uh, two other ones we'll set up during the day one of the things you're going to want to do is lay your stand out on the ground like this so you can get ready to stand it up. And what we're doing here, my brother and I, is I, I'm standing on the one end and then he's going to walk it up by hand. And these ladder stands like this really need two people to do this. So you, know, you can see how big this thing is and it's really pretty heavy. So you really need two people doing this job. Even another person, a third person, would probably really help out here. But we were, we were able to get it put, to, put, put up pretty easy, just the two of us. But here you can see, um, after we got it stood up, um, my brother is sitting up there in the stand. And So why I selected this area is right here, I've got acorns all over. And I'm surrounded by a number of oak trees in this particular area. It's on a ridge, um, definitely a heavy travel corridor right through here and it will be even more so now as you can see here that I've had my uh, woods timbered off so it's a perfect spot to ambush some deer. All right here we are in another spot on my property we got basically this is uh as I've spoken in my other videos I've had my temp my property timbered off so I've got these patches of woods where you know provides cover now for the deer. So what I'm trying to do is now set up a stand in this tree right over here. And this gives me both shooting lanes on this side and on the other side. So now I've got kind of this whole patch of cover I can cover with uh, this one tree stand. And from what I learned last year, I do know that deer come through here uh, from sitting up on one of my other stands. So I think we got a good spot here. We're going to try it out, see what happens this year. If it doesn't work out, we'll move to another spot. So now, after we got a couple of stands put up, now we're going through and checking out all of the current stands and making sure uh, we don't have any issues with them. So checking them over, checking the straps, uh, loosen them up, tighten them back down, you know, after the tree grows a little bit. So going through and doing that right now. Uh, this is one of our uh, stands here in the middle of a spruce tree forest I'll call it and it's a pretty good spot um, right now we're just checking to make sure that um, we're gonna be able to use this one again so my brother's up there giving it a giving it a go right now making sure everything's looking good and we'll be able to use it this year hopefully fingers crossed here I am at one of my ladder stands um, in an area where I've had it timbered off and it's on a single trunk tree but the thing I wanted to point out here and what you should try to do too when you select your ladder stand sites is find an area with cover around your ladder stand in this particular case I've got hemlock trees which are evergreens so perfect location all right guys why do you think it's so important to have your safety equipment on every time you climb into a tree. Well, I'm gonna tell you from personal experience, right now I wouldn't be here making this video most likely if I wouldn't have been wearing this and been connected to this when I climbed this tree two years ago. Um, basically, I climbed up, I got to the top of the tree, sat into my stand, I was probably sitting there for three, four minutes, and next thing you know, pow, the, tree st the strap that held that the stand and this is the stand right here. Basically, the strap that held that up there snapped. And just as quick as that, I looked down and I could see the stand falling down below my feet. And I probably fell about two feet and, and basically went just like this and it was hanging there. 
and I tell you nothing will wake you up quicker than that um, as you can see um, this is actually a hunter safety system vest and and this is the one I I mean I recommend I've obviously I'd recommend it I think it saved my life um, what it does is the way it works is see how they've got these these folded up on here and they're sewn together and it, it, it releases as you know you fall and it kind of breaks your fall a little bit and that's what this did I think it took out maybe one of these so I really didn't fall very hard um, but it definitely caught me same thing with this rope this is called the hunter safety lifeline and you basically you connect to this and you you're basically connected to the tree the whole entire time you climb up you get into your stand and when you climb down you never disconnect and this is what basically kept me from falling out of this tree right here uh, two years ago so you know I could probably say I was at least probably 20 feet up there into this tree and falling down big guy like me I'm sure it wouldn't have been pretty when I hit the ground so um, keep that in mind you got people at home want to see you come back every time please put this stuff on it doesn't cost that much money when you really think about it you know this is probably 70 80 dollars each one of these lifelines probably runs 25 to 30 dollars so you got what maybe a hundred dollars to keep yourself out of the hospital or worse so Please, guys, anytime you think about climbing a tree, get yourself into one of these. Put this up into the tree, and uh, you're going to be glad you did um, someday. You never know when something might happen, and this is what's keeping you, keeping you above ground here. So, well, there we go, guys. And there's uh, another video. Hopefully, there's some great tips here in this video, especially as it relates to the safety systems. Um, can't say it again uh, please get yourself into one of these get these ropes into your trees um, make sure you come back every time after you go hunting um, the other thing I want to mention about the, the vest is obviously this one here um, this one here I won't use anymore I went and bought myself another one so I got a, a brand new one now you never want to reuse these same thing with this rope since I fell into it I'd never reuse this the other tip I wanted to make before I close out uh, this video is the reason why my stand broke was you can't leave your stands up all year you can't leave the straps on them all the time uh, you got to go back and you got to check this stuff um, put new straps on them every year if you don't take them out of the woods uh, I know it's a pain to get them out of the woods and out of the tree every year and put them back up I don't like to do it but one thing I learned from this is now when you'll see in the video or you saw in this video is that we are going through and checking them all we're writing down where the straps are no good and we're gonna put new straps on all those stands where they need to be replaced um, you're gonna see also I've got a lot of my wooden stands that I'm not gonna hunt this year until I get them down and I'm gonna put new hardware into them so that I don't worry about the, the hardware breaking on me um, just different things you got to think about <laughs> One fall like this, like I had, makes you think about all those things an awful lot. So I'm way more cautious than I used to be, and I was probably a pretty cautious guy to begin with. But now I'm probably even to another level because of what happened here. It's life changing. So um, just my tip to you: think about these things and have a you know get out there and be safe this year, and have a good good have a good season and make sure you come back from every hunt. Thanks for watching the video. Again, hopefully you learned something in this one. I think you did. Um, if you weren't doing these things already, please make sure you do them. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.